guys i am going to upload a video how to create a you know gcp account that to data block so that uh, you can watch that video and then first of all create uh, your own account so once you get an account then uh, you know you will redirect to this page okay so initially you may not see this create cluster option over there but uh, there is a, a option called some enable api when you click that then the system will take a few minutes and uh, after uh, downloading that in, uh, api then uh, you may see this kind of message like create cluster okay so uh, up to that level i already uh, you know recorded my session yesterday it may take uh, hardly 5 to 10 minutes to create with an credit card okay they may charge you only 2 rupees but they, again they are going to reverse you okay so first they will give you give us 300 dollars uh, as a credit for 90 days so if you see the steam right pre trial status the so around uh, 22500 something we will get it in indian rupees and with 90 days remaining so since i have created a study so it's showing 90 days generally it will give it is giving 91 days so from start may then i my account is valid uh, till 90 days okay or uh, and or uh, amount which we can use from this okay this is completely free no need to you know, spend from your pocket and uh, so the card also won't uh, auto charge uh, they will give you an mail or message stating that if they if we want to renew it then we have to re renew manually okay if not then that's it uh, nothing will be happen. Okay, so that is for small introduction about the GCP account. You will get more clarity when you see uh, my video in a playlist shortly. Uh, from that, this is the next step. You can say this is the second second uh, video. Okay, so going forward, I want to use this cluster, uh, you know, in a, each and every clause or uh, in a mini project as well. So uh, so that. Uh, we no need to spend more time on installing the softwares okay this is a ready made available uh, system okay. so uh, first of all we'll see how to create a cluster here please uh, observe and you have to use the same method to create your cluster if you don't know process let me click on create cluster see generally we can we can uh, uh, we don't need to change anything here we have some steps to set up cluster configure nodes customers cluster minus security first of all this is the mandatory option where we have to uh, you know uh, select but uh, i can say uh, you know you can leave like this because standard is one master and one uh, on n workers that means we will select n number of workers in our next phase and uh, you don't need to touch anything here uh, if you are interested you can change this version okay so you can change this version like uh, 2.0 sent to as or ubuntu whatever okay so what i have got that if i go with this some of articulations are not working so let me you have to select this okay So I'm not changing anything. I just selected uh, enable component gateway and uh, Anaconda and Jupyter notebook. I just selected the rest uh, was fine. We'll see whether this uh, this system is allowing us to use this Jupyter Anaconda or not. If not, we will change this version. Okay. First of all, let it be. I'm going to the next page, uh, configuration nodes. So you don't need to do anything here. Again, this is the N1. Okay. So this is N1 and uh, you know, you know, right? Cluster means uh, master and slaves or worker nodes. So let us assume this is a cluster, this is a master machine where it has a four core CPU and uh, 15 GB RAM by default. Okay. Uh, and it's hard disk is 50, uh, 500 GB. So I think not required 500 GB. You can uh, take whatever, how much you do want. I'm just putting 50 GB is more than enough. Okay, so you, you can choose 100 GB or 60 GB, whatever you want. Okay, and coming to worker nodes. 
worker nodes n1 n1 means you know just keep like that and uh, you can select the number of nodes here okay so four core 15 gb each then let us say i'm taking four uh, worker nodes okay with the uh, 50 gb or 60 gb uh, 50 gb or 60 gb as a hard disk okay so i think we can go up to eight nodes uh, but not required for uh, you know practicing purpose we can keep only two or three or four okay for hands on so you don't need to do anything here okay and customers faster uh, don't touch it guys one more thing so i don't know how many of you know the cloud cloud storage bucketing so uh, since we are using google account right there is a bucketing concept like how amazon aws s3 is there like gcp buckets also there okay i will show you that option as well okay so meanwhile uh, you can select first of all we have to create one bucket let me open that uh, and show you how to create a bucket in a gcp okay first of all go to home yeah. we'll see here storage storage storage, storage. yeah cloud storage go to cloud storage option browse Okay, see here, I just, I have created one bucket yesterday, that is CSL, Clever Studies bucket, December 2021. Okay, let us assume I'm going to create one more bucket. Bucket name should be unique, okay? Bucket name should be unique across all uh, GCP cluster, okay? All accounts, we can say. Let us assume I'm, I'm going to create one more. We'll see whether it is available or not. Uh, okay, and uh, bucket. You can give whatever your name, which is unique. Twenty. We'll check it whether it is there. Created a bucket. See here. This bucket has been created. The bucket is this. Okay. So, first of all, uh, it is a good practice to create a bucket. Oh, do you come to know why we are creating bucket here? Okay, so now we created bucket, right? So we'll see here whether we have see bucket name is this CSL bucket 2022. Okay, now I came back to our uh, you know cluster creation page. Okay, under customized cluster. So browse here and uh, select any bucket that you have created. Okay, click on select. See here, it has selected. Why we why we are doing this? This is option actually, but you know when you uh, you know create some uh, like a uh, code or some data, we can store. Okay, uh, like when we use the uh, uh, Notepad or uh, Jupyter notebook, so there we may write some code, right? So that files where it will create, where it will store. Here, back in uh, all the system, it will store here because we are creating cluster which is for computing, right? Not exactly for storage. It is for computing, not, uh, you know, storage purpose, right? So that is the reason we just selected this as a back end where the data will be stored in this bucket by default, okay? Now, the rest you just keep like that. Let me create it. creating cluster. So I faced this issue yesterday. So what I did, uh, this feature is not supporting to install Anaconda. Uh, so we will go and change the version. Okay. So which version is change version here. You can change this Debian 1.5 version and select it and create it. We will see now whether it will take or not. See here is creating right so it will take uh, three i think two to four minutes and uh, we will see here uh, green tick mark 
then status is running that means we are ready to go okay that is the process to create a multi node cluster in gcp so guys it will take little time see now cluster is uh, created okay when you click on this then it will go to you know detail abbreviation page see this is the detailed uh, page where we can see every action okay so vm instances go to vm instances no in first time right it may take little time to get all resources at uh, one place see here one is master and four are worker nodes so this is called we can say cluster okay so uh, but we have one ssh so i will show you what is ssh is and how by using this ssh we are going to connect to cluster okay so and configurations you no need to change anything we can change but it's not required uh, and web interfaces so since we have chosen jupiter and all it came here okay 